I think we came in and settled down pretty well. Uh, the first couple of days was a bit of a challenge. But after that, we played a practice game and a few other practice sessions. One good off day, went out with the boys. So we've settled in pretty well. Uh, looking forward to the game tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be challenging because of uh, the kind of wickets and the kind of heat. Uh, the way we uh, quickly adapt to these conditions is going to be very, very important. Uh, from whatever I saw in, this, in, the, in the last game, uh, the wickets were pretty slow. Uh, it looks like it, it is going to be slow, so it will be a bit of a challenge. You have to, I'm sure I'll have to be prepared for a long haul and uh, try and be as boring as possible in terms of trying to plug away all day long. And uh, once the results come, I think it will come faster. We just have to wait for that one breakthrough. That's what I uh, figured out from the last game. I think, I think whatever it is, uh, being a leader of a pack is something that I take pride in. And uh, there, are, there are a lot of challenges that come with it and there is a lot of advantages that come with it. Uh, you, you know you're always confident, you know that you are the one who's going to go ahead and try and do the job. The team is going to look forward to you to try and deliver the breakthroughs and the vital wickets that are required. Uh, the challenge that come with it is obviously pressure. Uh, but uh, as, as I've already, already mentioned and always maintain that uh, pressure is sometimes something that I've, I've played for and uh, that's one thing that keeps you going, so I pretty much enjoy it. See, I mean, uh, as I told you, it's getting slower, but uh, by no stretch of imagination is it going to be easy work. We are all prepared for the long haul and uh, if the wickets are going to be uh, very tailor-made for us, if it starts spinning, then we come into our own. But until then, it's all about patience. we got to keep plugging away. The other day, you saw Mishi bowl for about 15-16 hours without any wickets and once he got a breakthrough, then he started breaking through at uh, regular intervals. So that's what we have to look for and uh, especially in the starting days, like the first couple of days or probably even three days of the test match, uh, there's not going to be a lot in it for the spinners. There might be some little bit of bounce or a little bit of slowness in the wicket that you can exploit. But it's got to be uh, pretty boring lines and lengths and keep teasing away with flight. So uh, we're pretty much ready for it and uh, everybody's prepared pretty well. Uh, we'll see how well we can use the practice match coming up. See, generally uh, there is a saying uh, that uh, when you get too close to celebrities, you get disappointed. So, I mean, it is something that uh, some, of, some people have told me and I've also personally... Uh, gone into it but uh, with respect to Anil Bhai whatever I, I thought and whatever I measured of him from the distance has actually come true it is the same man it is the same kind of discipline same intensity uh, and it's it's been wonderful it's been fabulous uh, he's uh, he's brought in a lot of energy he's brought in a lot of meticulousness among the group uh, you know there is a lot of planning when he's around and uh, there is there is some very good discipline in the nets the batsmen get out of the nets at the perfect time for a start and uh, that's not been around that's not been going around for some time so these are the things that I expected that Anil Bhai would bring in and it's exactly what he's done.